In this video, we're going to look again at before sentences, and we'll also look at after sentences. And if you're adding new verbs to the game, you don't really need to worry about the distinction between before, instead, and after. I would say just use instead. But if you are um, working with a built-in verb like drop or take or close, then maybe you want to look at before and after sentences. And I'll, I'll show you um, some examples of, of what I mean by that in this video. So let me go to the objects here and I'm going to add a cannonball to um, the grass field. How about that? And I'll make it portable so I can I can pick it up. And uh, you know, I would, if I was a really a game, I'd put a nice description on it. And I'd say, you know, Napoleonic era cannonball lies half buried in the dirt or something, something cool like that. And now let's go run our game here. And let's go to the west. And there's a cannonball here. I'm going to say take the ball. Uh, okay, and drop the ball, right? So take and drop or get and drop are built-in behaviors. And uh, now let's look at where this taken and dropped get printed out. Let's go over to functions here and you'll see, uh, I'm mean, sorry, sentences. You'll see that there's a um, after sentence for after taking something call report take. And what does report take do? It just prints out taken. And you can see there's a report drop function. Uh, and that just prints drop. And you can see we've got one for closed and we have one for wearing as well. So if we try to wear something, it'll put it on us and then it'll print out, you put on the whatever it was we were trying to wear. So um, what we can do here, let's go back to our sentences. You can see that, um, let's look at take. Um, so what you can see here is that we have a, a function that says, after we take something, call the report take function. Or after taking anything, call the report take function. And what do we call that? We call it after carrying out the action. And the same thing for drop and close and where. Now, this all works fine, but maybe we want to change the way that those actions are reported to the player. So let's add a new function here, and I'm going to call it report take ball, right? So for, this is good, what I'm going to, this is what I'm going to print out after taking the cannonball. And I'm going to print line PR tab tab, you know, you heave the heavy ball into your inventory, period. All right, there we go. And notice I don't even have to, I don't have to move the cannonball or do anything to it. All I'm doing is printing that line out. Now let me go to my sentences here. And I'm going to say, if the verb is get, take, grab, pick up one of those, and the first object is the cannonball, then call the report take ball function, but I don't want to do this instead of the default behavior. I want to do it after the default behavior. And then click add. So after taking the cannonball, call the report take ball function, and that it's going to do that instead of calling the uh, report uh, take anything. Where was it? Takes after taking something. Get and take are synonyms as far as the system is concerned. So uh, after, remember that the game will try to find an exact match, and if it can't find one, then it tries to find the wild card match. So if we try to, after taking something, it'll say, okay, taken. But if it could find an exact match, like take the cannonball, then it'll call that function instead. So let's just see how that changed our, our game here. And then actually, let me move the tin can there's a tin can. Let's put that in the grass field and run this. Okay, uh, west. Okay, so there's a goat here, there's a cannonball here, and there's an old tin can here. Take the can. Taken. Okay, take the, the cannonball. Now, what's going to happen? Well, instead of calling the re report or after taking anything, it's going to be able to find an exact match. It's going to be able to find a specific sentence for after taking the cannonball, and it's going to call that instead. You heave the heavy ball into your inventory. Now, that not that a better way of describing that action 
than just taken, right? So now you've got the sense of, okay, I'm really got to, oh, this thing's big and heavy. Uh, you get, you can feel the, yourself or the player struggling to do that. So that's an example of, we created our own after function to replace a built-in after function. And we were able to put a much more kind of, I don't know, descriptive, um, so much more descriptive text on that action. Now, what about dropping the cannonball? Let's do the same thing. Let's go to functions. I'm going to report dropping the cannonball, drop ball, and click add, and PR tab tab. You know, the ball lands on the, you know, the, sh the iron shot lands on the ground with a thud or something. The iron shot la lands with a thud, with a dull thud. How about that? Not a dull thuff. All right. So there's my sentence, or there's my function report dropping the cannonball. And then let's go to sentences here, and I'll say after, change my verb to drop. There it is, drop, drop the ball, call the report drop ball function after, I'm going to leave that as af after carrying out the built-in behavior. So after dropping the cannonball, call the report drop ball function. And that is going to override the drop star function which is drop anything. So again, the game looks for an exact match. So am I trying to drop the cannonball? Yep, I found an exact match for that. If it couldn't find it, it's going to look for a wild card match. Could I find something for drop anything? Yep, I found that. So uh, first it tries to find an exact match. Then it tries to find a wild card match. And then it, finally, if it can't find anything, it just says, I don't understand. It just gives up. So um, let's let's try that now. Okay, so let's go west and let's take the ball. You heave the heavy ball into your inventory, drop the ball. The iron shot lands with a dull thud, right? Isn't that now, now you can really kind of see that in your mind. That's a lot more immersive than, um, than just taken, right? It's, it's what you're trying to do is pr override the robotic voice of the, the built, the built in, override the built in voice as much as possible with your voice. And then now it starts feeling like a story rather than some sort of interaction with a computer terminal, which is really what it is under the hood. But uh, so there you go. There's another example of using after sentences to, um, you know, make your game just a little more polished.